Okay, the PS5 games, at least for launch and the beginning launch window, have been revealed. Joining us for this story is Meiju. Thanks for jumping on board this week. Yep, thanks for having me. Totally. Okay, so Sony revealed a ton of games during their presentation, and we're going to be going through our favorites. Uh, we'll touch on most of them, uh, but just for time reasons, we're probably just going to be talking about the really, really big ones. Uh, first off, I want to talk about one that I think did not belong, and that's going to be Grand Theft Auto V Enhanced. Uh, what do you guys think about the whole Grand Theft Auto thing? Why'd they open with it? I, I don't know. That's what I'm asking I guess, you. I guess maybe it, it went along with their... They were doing, like, montages of, like, all their old games, like, going all the way back to mm -hmm. the original PlayStation. True. So I guess it fit like that, but, like, way to get people excited for your new console <laughs> and just show a two-generation-old game. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly my point, is two generations old. What were you going to say, Miju? Sorry, I stepped in. Oh, I was bit. just thinking maybe they're just trying to show up the, the graphics because, like, we know the game already. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> maybe it uh, is pretty. Possibly. It is pretty <laughs> impressive that one game that Grand Theft Auto Five is going on three different generation platforms, and it's not just like a That's port. Nuts. Like they're adding new content each time. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that I mean that game uh, that series was just like here's a story, then there's a couple of DLCs, and like for four they did that, uh, and now it's just like this giant games as a service multiplayer behemoth that like. Everybody owns. Which Every, you, like so. Well, you get it for free. What, what what was it? You get it for free if you, you get GTA you online. Get, you get free. the online part for free. Okay, if you have PS Plus, or is it just yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah, you got a PS Plus, so it's not really free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, my my thoughts are pretty simple on Grand Theft Auto Five. I thought it was super weird to open with that game came out on the PS3, Xbox 360 era. And it, that w it just was put a weird taste in my mouth, which was immediately um, removed and replaced with good tastes. But oh, yeah. uh, I just thought it was a very strange first step. Yeah, I was not. Uh, I was not too hype when they revealed that. But then they showed uh -huh. the next thing. I'm like, oh my goodness, why didn't they open with that? <laughs> uh, is the next thing the next thing on our list here? Is it Spider Man? I don't know. I thought maybe it was Grand Theft Auto. No, it, no was, it wasn't. Grand Theft or, or, or Grand, Grand Theft Auto. No, no, it went, Gran it Turismo. Went Grand Theft Auto. Then I think Spider Man. Spider -Man then it was Spider Man. Spider -Man then next. it was Gran Turismo. And then you're right. You're Ratchet right. and Clank. I think was after that, right? Or was yeah. Grand Tur Turismo next? I think Gran Turismo was next. I remember that from the edit I did on my PS5 video, which you should check out. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Spider Man Miles Morales, uh, <laughs> which there has been such a heated debate as to what the heck that game even is. So is it an expansion? Is it a standalone game? People are calling it an expandalone, which is a new term that is like popping up all over the internet, which can definitely apply to a bunch of things. So expandalone for you guys who don't know is basically an expansion that is so big that companies sell it by itself. So two really good examples of expandalones are the Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry, which came out uh, after Assassin's Creed 4, where like that slave came and like became an assassin by himself, and it was its own standalone game, but it was like DLC, kind of. Uh, and then uh, the Uncharted with the two Lost girls. Legacy. Like, Lost yeah. Legacy. Yeah, Lost Legacy was going to be DLC for Uncharted 4, but it ended up becoming this big behemoth of a game, and then they sold it for like 40 bucks instead of 60 as an expand alone. And I'm sort of thinking that's where they're going with this Miles Morales DLC, but Insomniac Games and Sony themselves have been really coy about like what exactly it is. So what are your guys' thoughts? I mean, I, I see the, that there could have been an issue on if you come out and your first major game that you're going to have for your PS, your new console is a DLC as mm -hmm. opposed to a mm -hmm. full-blown game. Uh, so they're trying to be very, uh, I don't know, cagey on the details. Mm -hmm. And everybody's just confused. But it does look like it's going to be like a standalone DLC. There's rumors mm -hmm. that they're going to port the Spider-Man PS4 game to the PS5, mm -hmm. and then this would be included in the, the package. Which I am fine with. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. That I went. That game was so much fun. Yeah. I would love. I would love to do a second playthrough. Like if they do, like let you do new game plus right off the bat. Do like a new game plus playthrough, and then get through into the Miles Morales stuff. I would love that. 
Yeah, I never actually had a chance to uh, play Spider-Man or pick it up, so I'm really excited about picking up now because I never did before. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about comic books in general, Miju? I tend to not really read them. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not a, just a comic book junkie? No. <laughs> All right. Otherwise, Glad I probably would have picked it up. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I don't like the comic yeah, books. I, I like the movies and I like the games. Yeah, I like the on, movies. On I think those. I was playing something else at the time and then I just never, like, I don't know. Stuff happened. <laughs> fair, it's fair enough. <laughs> Uh, who, uh, Camilla, did you speak on this yet? Uh, I'm excited. I, I really like the Spider-Man PS4. Uh, I didn't finish it though, so I need to go back and beat it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm like kind of concerned that it's not the, ex it's not like the original. It's just this and it's like, I don't know, a s six hour game, which kind of be. Maybe I think Lost Legacy was only like 10 hours or something. Yeah compared to Uncharted that's like my 4. only like fear about it it's like it's really mm -hmm. short and it's not the whole thing mm. yeah but then like you get into the bait the debate of like how many hours does a game need to be to be a game true like <laughs> on like really but if you're spending like, it's like 60 dollars yeah if they're like selling it like it's a, a new like a standalone game I think if they sell Spider-Man Miles Morales by itself, it's going to be like 40 bucks. Yeah. But if they don't sell it by itself and they sell it with the other game, it'll just be 60 bucks. We don't even I know we, we don't even do that know that if pricing. games are going to be 60 bucks. Maybe they're going to be like 70. I know. Hmm. I mean, it what was it? They were 50 during the GameCube generation and then they jumped up to 60 during Xbox 360 PS3, then they were at 60 again. So, like, why wouldn't they, when they have to do so much more to these games, why wouldn't they raise the price? That's yeah. a very good point. I just started playing P uh, Spider-Man PS4 again. The game's really fun. Yeah. It's really fun. I love it. <laughs> the suits are amazing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's such amazing throwbacks to, like, the comics or the cartoons. And or they, the add, or they added too. some. They added, like, uh, well, they have the, the Homecoming or the Far From Home suit. They have uh -huh. the, you know... Uh, the Raimi suit is that what it is? Yeah, for lack of a better term, sure. Yeah, they had that, so they have like callbacks to non, like MCU stuff. MCU stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and then I just the oh, what is that movie? Before we move on to other stuff, Into the Spider Verse. Oh yeah, I think is the best Spider Man movie. Ever. Oh for sure. It's so 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 good. And yeah, I'm just excited for more like Easter eggs and like comic book references um, because like I, I'm not like a huge comic book like junkie, but like I do read comics and like I enjoy them and there's stuff that like I like to be like, oh, I saw that in like this comic and they're putting the game like that's so cool. So I'm excited for more of that stuff. And I think Miles Morales is like an amazing yeah. character. Like I'm so excited for him to be taken center stage. All right, now you guys want to talk about Vroom Vrooms? Oh, <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, PS5 has got a Vroom Vroom game, and it's called Gran Turismo 7. It's continuing their uh, series of It's, it's the seventh Gran one in the Gran, Gran Turismo. Seventh one in the Gran Turismo <laughs> franchise, uh, which is cool. I've got my hands on Gran Turismo in the past, and I've said this before in the past, that I do like Forza games better. Yeah. Um and John, I think you probably agree with yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, I, I've uh, never played Gran Turismo, but it looks uh, like okay. another driving sim. Like, it doesn't look... Uh -huh. I'm more of a... Uh, like, Forza Horizon is more my speed, where it's like an open world... Ah, uh, okay. ...exploration game as opposed to simulation. As the, as opposed to the motorsport games? Yeah. I like the motorsport games. Like, I, I, I do like arcade racing, but, like, I do... I really like collecting all the cars and stuff in the motor, the Forza Motorsport games. And this just looks like a really great simulation racing game. Like they're kind of hard to mess up. Like, cause <laughs> I think it's really easy for some reason to make cars look awesome in video games. Yeah. Like for a long time, cars have looked very, very good. I don't know if it's something that your eye is like, it doesn't like a human face is you can very <laughs> easily tell if it's janky. But like maybe something about cars. You're, the leather you looked know, nice. You know the the interiors of those cars looked real nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> something you'll never it's see. Real smooth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean you can switch views. 
and then you can look out the use the right stick to look out the right window you can maybe see some pleather <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to talk about Gran Turismo, or do you want to move on? I don't. Really I, I, I feel like it's just so. more of the same. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's talk about uh, something that uh, we haven't gotten. We got like kind of a original game in this franchise. We're talking about Ratchet and Clank. Uh, we got mm-hmm. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, uh, release date TBD, which is kind of depressing i remember i was in john's stream just literally just typing when 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 over and over again and they just didn't say it but i love the ratchet and clank games i think i own all of them uh they're so fun um and just an awesome exclusive for playstation to have and my the the highlight of that trailer for me is when they're popping through um all of these dimensions like super super fast and then they pop through one, and then Ratchet's not Ratchet anymore. Ratchet's a girl. Yeah. That's, um, the, that's that SSD. <laughs> yeah, that was like the the showing off of the SSD being able to load all these worlds basically yeah. instantly. Like, that is a game changer. Yeah. I feel like we're not going to appreciate it. No. no. We're going to be like, oh, that's it's cool. Like... <laughs> we're not going to think about how hard it is to yeah. execute. Mm-hmm. But the game looked uh, like it was very far into development, like during the trailer. Oh yeah. So like yeah. I can't imagine it really taking that long for it to come out. Like I can see maybe release. like a twenty twenty one. I don't think it's gonna be a launch. Yeah, early not, tw- Yeah. Like early. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, that's another Insomniac game. So they have Spider Man mm-hmm. and Ratchet and Clank. Mm-hmm. Which I don't yeah. understand how that's possible. I guess they have two teams, but yeah, <laughs> it's still pretty impressive. They get two like. Hey, but majors. Nintendo made Nintendo. Mario. How come Zelda's <laughs> coming out? Yeah, but no, but Nintendo's like a huge publishing house. No, I know. Insomniac's a one developer. They're <laughs> well, they got acquired by Sony, so Sony's mm-hmm. backing them big time. Which is, I just think it's awesome. Like, dude, this lineup is so cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah I'm just very excited. And I, I'm excited to see just all the different ways that they, like, do this whole parallel universe dimension thing. I think they're going to get really... Cre- they get so creative with, like, the guns yeah. and the characters and, like, the dialogue is so good. I'm just... I'm geeked about it, man. I, I'm so excited. <laughs> that was one of my favorites of everything they announced. I did see a meme uh, of where... It was like Ratchet is getting all the Sony love and Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper get nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, Ratchet and Clank got a flipping movie. Yeah, they yeah they had, and they had a complete reboot on the PS4. Mm-hmm. Jack and Daxter, RIP. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're just too much of a product of their time. I'm not so much Sly Cooper. I feel like Sly Cooper could come back. But Jack and Daxter, and I know I'm probably triggering Camilla right now, just <laughs> wrong. It, it just sort of feels like it was of that PS2 era. But, you know. But I feel like Ratchet he, and Clank and Jack and Daxter, their original PS2 versions, they were extremely similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess what I'm getting at is like the Jack character. I feel like R- Ratchet, like, he's a little, what is he, what are they called? Lomox? What is he? I have no idea. Do you guys remember what he's called? He's a Wombax, right? Wombax? <laughs> he's not a real Anyways. creature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not... he's not a real creature. I just feel like that kind of a cartoon, like animated, uh, anthropomorphic thing um, is a little bit more marketable than like a dude with green hair. But that's just me. <laughs> well, that's I, just I also, you. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly think that, you know, it's because uh, Naughty Dog made those games. And Naughty Dog's not going to make those games anymore. Right. Because they're focused on... Hyper-realistic. I mean, you never like know. The Last of Us, and then what else are they doing? Uncharted. Is it Uncharted I over? I didn't see anything about Uncharted. No, I'm just saying, well, they, they're they just getting off of Last of Us. So you're gonna That's wait true. another how many? Years I heard there was gonna be a game? part three though. Of Last of Us. Yeah. We'll have to see know. how part two ends. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's start banging through some of these because we're we're hanging up at the top <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of this list for a while. Well, those are the big ones. All right, those so, are the big ones. 
Uh, we got Project Athea, uh, which is a new Square Enix IP, which mm -hmm. looks really cool. It's uh, Tomb Raider. Camilla, what you're saying, it was made by the people who made. Yeah, it's, uh, there's like a new team that like was sectioned off within um, Square mm -hmm. Enix that made Final Fantasy 15. This is like the new team. This is their new IP for that. So people were thinking before this was announced that like we were going to get Final Fantasy 16 because that's what they thought this project was. But this does, if you look at it, it doesn't look like a final fantasy game at all i mean like maybe because like you know final fantasy games are like they do look and play differently than other final fantasy games yeah. you never know maybe they're just taking it in a totally different direction but i my guess is probably not no i think uh, this, you guys this think is a brand new thing for them yeah i thought it was cool i thought it looked Dragons, cool like magic jumping yeah <laughs> Quite it's all we saw. I don't really know much about it, but yeah, it's, it's all you need. Yeah. In the, it's all you need in the game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that thing uh, stuck out to me a lot. And then I think this next game, uh, unless anybody has anything I'll say about Project Thea, um, this next thing, uh, Stray, uh, in my opinion, is going to get Game of the Year 2021. <laughs> yes. it's, com it's coming out next year. Uh, Stray is about uh, a kitty cat living in a. It seems like a post-human world yeah. where all the humanoids are replaced by robots potentially, mm -hmm. uh, and you're a cat, you're like an cat. actual, like an actual cat, not like a, like a, you have like a cat, like your pet cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're a stray cat. If you're a pet cat, it wouldn't be called stray. <laughs> well, okay, you were once you were once a pet cat because I think you're looking for a home. That's the what's purpose. With the little, what's with the little backpack? I like the little backpack you wear. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. I just hope you can Makes customize you your character because I hope that you the backpack has like basically iron spider like powers <laughs> where like little arms come out of it and you can like interact with terminals and stuff. It's in your spider cat. That. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this was the most exciting announcement because it was it, it so really ridiculous. was. <laughs> It's, yeah, it, was, it looks super fun. It's super cute. It was published by Annapurnia, which does a lot of like cool indie stuff. So I think it'll be good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Camilla, how do you feel about cats? Uh, I thought it was cute. But he's it was listening, a cute game. So. I'm not really a fan of cats, but <laughs> yeah. Not a fan of cats. Would you get it? Would you get it if it was a stray dog? <laughs> <laughs> and also, is that the sequel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could. It's it's just called Stray, so you could. It could possibly be dogs or cats. Well, I'm not opposed to getting oh, it. I may get it. Mm. <laughs> uh, then uh, I'm going to talk about two games, kind of hand in hand. Um, there was a one game called Returnal, which very much, if you guys remember that Tom Cruise movie yeah. with Emily Blunt, uh, Live Die Repeat, uh, aka that was actually the rebrand title. What was the original title of that movie? Oh, remember? I have no idea. Edge of Tomorrow, Edge of, boom, yeah. nailed it. Um, where you basically are trying to do some objective, but then you die and you come back to life, and then when you come back to life again, you're still trying to as like uh, do the same thing, but like the world has changed, and it looked kind of like a triple A roguelike yeah, game. That's what I was thinking. Uh, and I love that style of gameplay loop, so. Other than the fact that I was, I think I was mentioning to you, John, that it looked like it needed to come with a bottle of Xanax or something. Because <laughs> it just Oh, yeah, it looks like, like it deals with a lot of mental. Yeah. Like, the world changes based on your mental state. Yeah. The world looked cool. Like, I thought, like, the environments looked really nice. Mm -hmm. So I'll be interested to see how the gameplay is. Yeah, and it just oh, it looks really good. Like, her, the, the protagonist looked really great. She had that thing. What is it called? Like bichromatic or whatever, where you have like one eye that's a different color than the other. Eye. Heterochromatic. There you go. Oh, big Boom. words. Whoa, dude, coming in with the <laughs> trivia the right now. today. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, it looked very cool. I just thought it looked really cool. Any other comments on Returnal? Uh, moving on to Death Loop, uh, which had the exact same premise, kind of, <laughs> which was uh, Live, Die, Repeat, where it's you against another assassin, and then you have to like complete certain objectives before this other assassin kills you and makes you restart your mission. So I thought it was weird that there was two 
games about like dying and coming yeah. back to life and reliving the like it was very strange to have that in the same presentation but they do look like they play very differently yeah i think the, it just is like the same kind of premise the uh death loop one it looks more actiony and then uh-huh. the other one looks more like methodical like psychological thriller yeah, yeah, yeah. death yeah, made different. by the people that made um dishonored Oh, that's confirmed. Okay, yeah. interesting. Uh, that'll be cool. Those games play v- very fun. But I don't know if that's a word or a phrase. <laughs> Those games play very good. They good fun. But they're more stealthy. <laughs> this looks more actiony. Yeah. But yeah, zipping around from like uh, you know, telephone pole to telephone pole in those games. That was pretty dope. Um. Then we had uh, a res- uh, a revival of a franchise. Uh, Little Big Planet. It wasn't called Li- Little Big Planet, though. It was called Sackboy, a big adventure, which uh, I think we all can come to agreement that it is a 3D world ripoff. What do you guys think about Sackboy, a big adventure? <laughs> I'm actually really excited it was cool. about it. Yeah. But... I've always yeah. kind of liked Little Big Planet. I haven't really like gotten in- that into it, but I kind of want to play some of the games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not a rip off because the whole point of you know little big planet is like you're collecting items and stuff and like clothing yourself or whatever <laughs> um mm-hmm. but the only thing that's like uh 3d world is like the whole 3d aspect of it which it already was a 2.5d world to begin with so i don't really right. see it as rip off they just got yeah. rid of their layer system they had before uh it does have the exact same camera angle and it's four player that's does, all, that's does all Nintendo it always own was that, four though? player <laughs> Oh, it was? Or was it two-player? Yeah. I thought it was two-player. Oh, maybe. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. If I'm wrong, <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Isn't a big aspect of the little Big Planet games where you can make your own levels? Yeah, yeah they didn't show levels. that, but yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, it didn't look like they had, well, they had that feature based on the trailer. I don't know if it's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they In were the making game? levels before Mario Maker was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably get that. Only to it seems like something that my wife would play with me. <laughs> yeah. And I got I always got to get those games. <laughs> Otherwise, I just sit alone in my little study in here and cry. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So that game looks super cool. Final thoughts on Sackboy. Nice. All right. So um, a game that I know Miju likes. Uh, is Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. Uh, what do you think about that game, Miju? You know I like it. <laughs> yeah, because I, just... I watched your PS5 video. <laughs> I just thought it looked adorable. Um, mm-hmm. Like, the art style is really nice, and it, it looks mm-hmm. like it'll be a lot of fun. It kind of has a uh, Nintendo feel for it, mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, it seems like, it seemed to take inspiration from Breath of the Wild a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, because, well, those little furry things, I don't know what they're called. So like, like Koroks, right? Yeah, they, you found them, like, well, they showed the character finding them under rocks, kind of like Koroks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, it looks really nice. Like, I, it does look beautiful. I, I will be picking it up when it comes out. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, me too. The thing that I want to say about this uh, the games thing on on the whole is that they showed a lot of games that I'm like, yeah, I'm picking that up. Yeah. yeah. Day day one, I'm picking that up, and like that's a that's a t- we can get into the discussion once we we can fire <laughs> through the rest of these games. But like, <laughs> yo, Xbox, you need to wake up, pal. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, what do you think of Kenna, Camilla? Uh, I thought it looked cool. Um, I don't know if I'll get it right away, but. Uh... Mm-hmm. It, I, I did see the similarity to Breath of the Wild, and I like Breath of the Wild, so maybe I like this too. Nice. Uh, and then we had Oddworld Soulstorm. Oddworld is a very dark 2D platforming game set in a super, very unique. Isn't it world. like really creepy or like gross? Yeah. It. Uh, yeah, they do. There's a gross humor in it as well. There's like, um, you know, burps and toots and all that. <laughs> burps and toots. Uh, <laughs> um but yeah it's uh it's dark like if you w- they showed the whole thing there's cursing in the trailer like it's it's not um you know it's it's not your nephew's platformer 
uh, it looks spoopy. And I, I don't know if I'm going to get it because I had uh, the reboot of like Abe World Munch's Odyssey or whatever. Is that what? Odd World Abe's Odyssey? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. There's some but Abe I think in, was, in Odd World in there. Yeah, a- Abe's Odyssey, something. Uh, that was on the Vita, which we were talking off about offline. Uh, and I didn't get very far. I was kind of like, I'm not sure that I even like this type of 2D. Because there's a lot of puzzle solving in it. It's a 2D platformer, but also it's very puzzle heavy. And I just, you know, I'm just sometimes I'm, I don't, I just want to check out. Like, I don't want to, like, solve your problems. Like, <laughs> I just want to jump on stuff. Uh, cool. Let's talk about um, Ghostwire Tokyo. That's spooky. Was that, was Ghostwire Tokyo the Magic Hands game? Yeah. It was, yeah, okay. Magic Hands. That game seemed very meh to me. It's from of a lot. It's from Bethesda, right? The, well, it's from the team. It said that, Bethesda in the lower right. I think it's from the team that did The Evil Within, which is a very psychological thriller. I mean, they just stole the animations from Skyrim of you putting both your hands together <laughs> and shooting fire. At them. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, I just was like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> a spoopy game with like magic hands like i was so unimpressed and I, i'm sure other people can disagree with me but i was i was like yeah okay go yeah, walking around in tokyo really would be cool out at me. yeah yeah there's so many other games that you can walk around tokyo yeah. though that's true <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's gonna be our next video our next video is like hey do you want to explore tokyo this is a game for you <laughs> Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that, unless you guys have other stuff to say about God, no. Water Tokyo. Kind of like whatever. Uh, Godfall is one of the first PS5 games I think we ever saw. We saw a lot more of it um, during the presentation. Uh, and, John, you were saying it looks like Melee Destiny. Yeah, it kind of looks like Melee Destiny. Uh, I think the it's going to have a loot grind, kind of like Destiny as well. Mm-hmm. It's going to be online. So when I was watching it, when I was watching the trailer the combat didn't look that exciting because like you would fight one enemy and then all the other enemies are just standing around watching waiting for you to go (laughs) fight them like that's like terrible we have to be past that point where like enemies wait their turn to get yeah so i well maybe i mean maybe they're like they're trained in being like all right this this, (laughs) they're just gonna let this guy go and then like they're like these guys are the backup and then they're waiting because, like, what do you? Like, they're all like they, they don't want to die. Just, so what are they gonna do? Dogpile? That's the new AI system is just dogpiling on you constantly. Yes. <laughs> some games will do that. Yeah, some games will do that. But no, I, I just don't like when they just wait around for you. Like they're not shooting projectiles at you. They're not doing anything. They're just mm-hmm. waiting for you to beat up the one guy, and then you just move on to the other guy. Yeah, they're backup. <laughs> they're hype just men. Rolling. They're hype men. Yeah, they're hype men. They're like, get him, get him. <laughs> the the armor looks really cool. Like the the aesthetic of this game looks awesome. I think it looks amazing, but the gameplay does not look like it's t- top tier. Nah. Um, Solar Ash. Oh, that was the Hyperlight Drifter esque game. It seemed fine. I wasn't very hyped about it. I wasn't very interested in seeing any indie games during this presentation. Yikes. But that's. That's just my personal. <laughs> that's that's my personal opinion. Listen, I know it's it's a maybe not a popular one, but I I, I didn't care to see any indies during this. <laughs> what about Stray? Is that an indie game? I guess was that, that an indie? Yeah, that was indie. Well, it didn't look like an indie. So that cat looked real realistic. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Solar Ash, just nothing about Solar Ash. Yeah, it didn't, uh, it didn't it look, like, it wasn't exciting. I mean, I'm I'm assuming people love Hyper Light Drifter. Yeah. So it's probably going to be I mean, pro- prove me wrong, it's probably going to be great. Yeah, but uh, as of right now, I haven't played it, so I can't speak to it being good. <laughs> uh, speaking of the revival of franchises, we had Hitman 3, which didn't uh, look next gen this is something we say a lot that like you know kind of doesn't really have any meaning went, didn't look next gen to me he went up into the sky <laughs> what 
Did he die in one of the other ones? No, I, no. Like the it's very futuristic. Like f- for some reason, the the buildings are like up above the clouds in Hitman Three. Hitman Three. Doesn't it take place in uh, Dubai? I don't know. I think that was what they were getting at. Yeah. Is that it took place in Dubai <laughs> and that it was all about like killing and eating the rich. <laughs> I did not get that from that. I'm pretty sure that was what that whole trailer was about. Maybe I I zonked out and like just had like a a fantasy, but yeah, I I thought that's what that was about. But I I loved Hitman on PC during like the PS2 era. Like it was very cool, like pretty revolutionary. You could like strangle people with piano wire and take <laughs> their clothes and then just leave them naked. <laughs> and then you just walk in as like a waiter. Like that was so cool. You're, it was so it had never been done before. But like now I just feel like, you know, they're just going to be retreading old ground with, you know, better graphics. <laughs> and I don't know. Unless they have like a really engaging story, and this dude, the protagonist of Hitman is literally just bald white guy. <laughs> like he has no personality. Mr. Clean. He is. He's, he's dude. Mr. It would be Clean. a more interesting game if he was Mr. Yeah. Clean. He like kill, he killed people with like magic erasers. <laughs> His oh name God. could actually be Mr. Clean. That would be good. That'd be sick. I'd watch that. Kills people. He takes a little earring out. <laughs> Kills people. Anyways, the, that got dark real quick. Uh, <laughs> uh, what about you? Do you guys have history with the Hitman franchise at all or no? no? No. I think I tried it once when I was on PS Plus and I didn't really like it. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that might have been Absolution, potentially. I can't remember which one they gave away on PS Plus. but it might I have think been the one two. Gave, I don't know. I think the one they gave it on PS Plus was like not its finest hour. So it's like not the best foot forward, but I think people really right. liked the last one. They, I think they really liked Hitman Two. Hitman Two. They uh, uh, okay. Uh, that was the episodic one. They also have a sick mobile game. Apparently, what is it? Hitman Go. Yeah. That I, that's apparently supposed to be really good. I've never played it. Uh, anyways, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, Astro Bot, right? Not boy, because it was Astro Boy. Right. Yeah, I think it's Astro Bot. Yeah. Astro Bot. That is a preloaded game that comes on your PS5. Uh, who knows if it's associated with your Sony account, so don't delete it yet until we know. <laughs> uh, it looked cool. I liked it. I People was, really like I, Astro Boy. Yeah. Hmm. So it looks, Isn't Astro Boy the name of a Japanese Oh, wait, superhero? no. Is it Astro? Yeah, maybe it's not Astro Boy. Whatever the one is on PS4, people love it. Mm-hmm. It's probably just Astro Bot. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I like him. He looks cool. He kind of looks like um, Wally's girlfriend. <laughs> Eve? Yeah. yeah. Wally. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to that. It was like... I mean, it's free. The well, one thing it's I... built in, so that, why not try yeah. it? At least? Yeah, totally. The one thing I've heard other people say, and I'll just reiterate, reiterate the point, they came through with a lot of family friendly looking games yeah. in this presentation. Yeah, I was actually like, I was great. surprised. What's that? I was surprised because like I, I figured they would have a, like a few of them, but like mm-hmm. I like coming off like the Xbox presentation, I'm like, oh, there's probably gonna be a lot of shooters and a lot of like hardcore like this is it for your kid game kind of thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. So. <laughs> Keep the PlayStation Five away from the children. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, speaking of keeping things away from your children, what is Little Devil Inside? It's another indie <laughs> game. I don't know. I don't remember that one. Uh, I, think it's I just remember well, I didn't care about it. There's video of it playing right now, and I don't remember what it is. So, <laughs> in the comments below, leave. <laughs> let us know what you thought of Little Devil Inside. Uh, and then probably everyone's favorite game uh, that's going to be totally different than all the other games that came before it is NBA 2K21, The Sweat Simulator. I wasn't. They said I wasn't going to be ready for that trailer, and I was not ready for that trailer. Uh, it, it opened up with just some dude, some not some dude, he's an NBA player, uh, just with just <laughs> like a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, <laughs> just... <laughs> The worst camera imaginable yeah. filming that guy. <laughs> it was so weird. He's a multi billionaire and he can't afford a nice camera. Yeah. It's like, bro, where's your like where's your iPhone at? 
Um, uh, I mean, yo, if you like basketball, it's probably going to be awesome. It's like the best-selling basketball franchise of all time. It's, the it's only, probably going to be cool. It's, it's the only one. It's going to have a lot. Of, uh, NBA Jam? That was like 30 years ago. No, they had one on Xbox. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It's on the SNES Classic, I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, go, we're going to move on to, I think it was Camillo's favorite game of the conference, and that was <laughs> Bug Snacks. Cam, why did you like Bug Snacks so much? I mean, I don't know. I was just kind of confused about it. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I haven't Sorry. played Octodad. It's made by the Octodad people. Uh, and. Right. It didn't look next gen, so I'll say that. <laughs> didn't look last gen. <laughs> I just it like that it was kind of like Pokemon. It looked very weird. What were you saying, Miju? I liked how it was kind of like Pokemon in the beginning. It like sucked you in because they're like strawberry, 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 and then like yeah, it ended like... up being this like really stupid game. <laughs> what is the, what is the, the con- I don't even understand the concept. Like, what do you do? You become a snack. Uh, you. you you eat things and become them. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Octodad was weird as hell. So like, I don't and know. And it's like wildly what. successful. Octodad it is was. wildly successful. So who's to say that this is not just the next Octodad? It could be some kind of like spore thing where like you eat things to turn That's into true. like, I don't know, different types of things. That's true. You could like evolve and form snack civilizations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, one of the, the next game we have here was a huge twist, uh, which I called and I have a witness, um, like the second it started, I called it. What did you call uh, it though? You didn't. No, I said it was, Res- I said res eight. Yeah, but you didn't say it was village. You said it was something else. <laughs> you were close. It was town or, oh, or, or was spoop town. I or said spoop, I said spoop town. <laughs> <laughs> Resident village. Evil eight spoop town. Uh, but I am I'm too afraid to play Resident Evil games admittedly and I know they're great and I'm excited for everyone who's going to play this game I'm excited um, I like the, the RE2 remake I haven't played the 3 remake and I want to play 7 too I haven't gotten yeah, to that Seven apparently 7 took like a big turn mm-hmm. like it's more it's more it's more horror based now as opposed to survival I just I've played the beginning of seven and you get stabbed immediately through your hand <laughs> and then you just kind of like pour some water on it and like then you're okay and I'm just like mm, that's not hyper realistic I mean like, you're, you're why? eating her you're eating herbs to heal yourself in those games I know <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense what I, I feel like they would sh- should make it more realistic. what doesn't make sense to me is why Chris looks different every single time I don't know different art direction you know what? Different. Actually, the coolest thing that I saw in the whole trailer was the flipping werewolf. Yes, that was the most exciting thing to me. Because what if it's about werewolves and not really about zombies? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Werewolves are cool. They're very cool. I'm a big fan of lycanthropy. <laughs> uh, lycanthropy. And then, uh, anybody else? Resident Evil. Uh, we had Pragmata, which I don't quite remember either. Oh, it's uh, that weird space game that, like, kind of... Oh, that looked awful. Yeah. That looked so boring. <laughs> that was the game, I think I told you, John, why don't you just close your eyes and pretend <laughs> yeah, you're in exactly. space? <laughs> like, that game looked so boring. Well, it's got two just years meta- to become good, I guess, because it's not going to be I, out until 2022. Yeah, who, that's why announce a game that's at least two years out? Yeah. That looked that yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just meditate. Filler. All right, then they ended the show on two huge high notes. Uh, the first one would be Horizon Forbidden West. It's going to be hard for me to stop saying Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden <laughs> West yeah. because the games are called horizon apparently and not horizon zero dawn um so horizon forbidden west is the sequel official sequel to horizon zero dawn um people love those games i really enjoyed my time with them i just i just gave up for some reason i think it's because it came out around breath yeah, of the wild yeah 
and I was just like, this one of these games is <laughs> much better than the other. Um, but that game is very good and looks amazing on a 4K television. Like, holy moly. Took full advantage of the PS4 Pro. Uh, and the sequel looks great. I hope to beat the first one someday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about that game? I, I haven't played the original either, but it did look really good. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, I started the original, but uh, I didn't finish it. I might go back to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about going back to it this fall because I don't know if there's going to be much going on then, so <laughs> might as well. Yeah. Yeah, Nintendo. Where's Nintendo at? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last and absolutely not least. This was probably one of my favorites as well. Uh, it was Demon Souls. The remake, that was, it blew me away. Oh that God. trailer blew me away. It really did. Uh, I'm gonna throw it to John though, because he's the resident Soulsborne dude. So I never. So Demon Souls is the only Soulsborne game that I haven't played, because mm -hmm. I never had a PS3. But this, the remake looks incredible. Like I don't know if, have you seen what the original Demon Souls looks like? Yeah, I've played it. And you, the trailer just makes it look insane. Yeah. Like, I'm so pumped for this. I can't wait. Yeah. Day one by for me, for sure. I love all those Soulsborne games. I've only beaten uh, three. Uh, and then I got really close to one and gave up because, like, three was out. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to keep playing this. This game's old. So Dark Souls was the successor to Demon Souls? Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, Demon Souls was first. Mm -hmm. okay. And then Dark Souls was the successor. And then you have the spinoffs, Bloodborne, yeah, and, and then, Sekiro. Uh, Sekiro. Yeah. Which I've beaten every single one except for Dark Souls 1. I need to beat Dark Souls 1. It's fun. Uh, and they have the remastered for you on any platform that you'd want. <laughs> and I think it, it's on sale. Yeah, I, I mean, I own, yeah, I own it. I own it on Switch and PS4, actually. Oh, nice. All right, so let's wrap this whole conversation up with a couple of discussion questions uh, that we'll get to real quick. Uh, what games are you the most excited for? I feel like we sort of talked about it. I think I'm going to say uh, Spider-Man. I don't care what it is. Just give yeah. it to me. Ratchet and Clank <laughs> is amazing. Uh, and then probably Demon Souls would be my top three. I would go. That, that's the same for me. I'll throw Resident Evil in there, too. What about Stray? Oh, and Stray, yeah. 95% <laughs> of this list alright so John needs 5 <laughs> uh, Miju what are you looking forward to the most I guess to add to that Kina which we don't know uh, a lot about but hopefully mm -hmm. that's that's good see I forgot about that already Yeah. do you want to add that one to your list John <laughs> yeah. how about every single one except for that pragmatic game okay <laughs> <laughs> sorry Miju what else are you looking forward to well I guess just a repeat of what you guys said pretty much Nice. Uh, all right, uh, cool trainer, bring us home. What are you looking forward uh, I'll to say most? Ratchet and Clank, Spider Man, and I'll throw in Sackboy. Oh, oh yeah, Sackboy. Yeah. Okay, and then very, very quickly, because with this topic is gone <laughs> so long, um, are there any games that you wish were revealed but weren't? Uh, I'm going to say God of War 2. I'll say Bloodborne 2. I'll say the normal uh, response that I would say is say a new Kingdom Hearts game. Kingdom Hearts 4. <laughs> well, we're yeah, probably going yeah, right? to get a new game before that one. So. Oh, yeah. It's going to have a weird number. <laughs> um, Miju, what, um, what, how about you? Like a Final Fantasy remake of some sort besides 7. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'd love to see a remake of 9. Hmm. Uh, or 1 redone. Yeah, that'd be good. One's been redone generation. like a billion times. <laughs> oh, it's been redone twice. <laughs> or like six or something. Once on PS1 <laughs> and once on Game Boy Advance. Um, okay, holy moly. No. I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> section of our podcast uh, about all the games that were announced for the PlayStation 5. Uh, I know we're all very excited about it and hope you guys are too. A special thank you to Miju for co-hosting this week. If you want to check out her content, the link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>